everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your Freaky Friday news shot. And who better, who better to highlight on Freaky Friday than our good friend, Dr. Stephen Hawking, who says that this will be a new form of life. He's talking about artificial intelligent robots, who he says will replace humans completely. This according to the Mirror over in the UK. Says a renowned physician, or physicist, pardon me, says that he believes AI will eventually reach a level where it'll essentially be a new form of life that will totally outperform humans. He says, I fear that AI may replace humans altogether. If people design computer viruses, someone will design AI that improves and replicates itself. He says this will be a new form of human life that out or a new form of life that outperforms humans. The professor, of course, is also urging young people to more be in, interested in space and science in general. And I mean, why not? I mean, you talk about, well, look at how we were created. Think about this for a second. If you believe the Bible version of creation, or for that matter, many of the spiritual or religious versions of creation across all of humanity, it all comes from a God, a being, creating us. And here we are at the cusp of playing God ourselves, creating self-replicating life that can think, that can feel, that can have free will. We call it artificial because it's electronic. But at what point is it not artificial anymore? When do we just call it life? That's the problem that we're running into. There is huge ethical implications as well as dangers to humanity itself that need to be better understood before we go treading into this very dangerous territory, which we are already well into. It continues, it says the 75-year-old has talked to Wired Magazine about his belief that we need a new space age to entice young people to get involved in science and said that there would be a serious consequence if more people didn't show interest. He added that he thinks a new space program should be worked on urgently by the, the, the science community with a view to eventually colonize suitable planets for human habitation. He says he believes we've reached the point of no return, that our Earth is becoming too small for us, that global population is increasing. I disagree. It is not. And we are in danger of self-destructing. Every first world country, folks, every single one has a birth rate below 2.1. The earth is not overpopulated. The earth is not becoming overpopulated. The earth is now starting to flatline on population with eventually it starting to decrease and decrease rapidly. It only takes a generation or two of that birth rate being below two for there to be a massive population drop. As a matter of fact, in countries like Thailand and Japan, they're encouraging people to have children incentivizing it no less because it's that much of a crisis because what happens when your population gets old and there's not enough young people you better hope you have AI robot servants to be able to handle things because that's the only way it's going to happen you know I believe he's absolutely right humanity will become obsolete if we don't do this right and it's coming on fast and furious you're talking about in the next five years technology be being to the point where you won't even recognize your smartphone of today, you're going to be looking at this smartphone that we hold in our hands today, you know, your iPhone. You're going to be looking at that like the big block phones that we used to have in the early 90s and late 80s. Those cell phones and laughing. We laugh at that now. Ha 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 ha. That was some hot stuff back then. You can't imagine how fast technology is advancing. When you actually look at it, you can't appreciate just how fast it's advancing. Unless you dive into this, dive into the peer-reviewed research, all of these scientific journals. It's amazing what's going on. And AI is a threat to humanity. Not because it has to be, 
But because of the way it's being implemented right now, you have the financial markets, the fine, these big financial companies, these big banks, these investment houses are working at breakneck speed to develop AI to replace human logic so that they can shave milliseconds, nanoseconds off of transactions so that they can make better, more sound decisions, so they say. But even a lot of experts are saying that AI implemented in this industry is going to lead to a catastrophic crash, which, of course, affects humanity. You have to be careful about how you implement these things, and if you implement them too fast, everybody's competing against one another, greed being the driver, and I'm telling you, it's not going to end well. If you want to implement AI, the only successful way to implement it is if greed is not the driver. If you are looking to benefit humanity as a whole, then that's okay. But if money's the driver, ain't going to ever work out well, never ends well. doesn't matter if it's AI or any other endeavor, it will end in disaster. How many, how many inventors were killed? or their technology stolen or bought and shelved by big business because they didn't want it implemented because by God, it would be good for humanity. It would save us money, but they would lose market share. Think about that. Do you honestly think these same people are going to implement AI with your best interest at heart? Is there any truth to what Dr. Hawking is saying? These are things that we have to consider on Freaky Friday. Because I'll tell you what, artificial intelligence is as freaky as it comes. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and make sure you tune in to Freaky Friday every Friday night over at TruthFrequencyRadio.com, TFRLive.com. If you don't want to type out TruthFrequencyRadio.com. 7 p.m. Eastern, midnight in the U.K., 4 p.m. Pacific. Visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Folks, have a great weekend. Take care.